Guys, welcome back to the semi-final set in the ADV Cup between Dice and Ban Manaphy. Ugly game one for Dice. Bad start on turn one with a Meteor Mash miss and just all downhill from there. One-sided affair with Ban Manaphy coming out on top. Here is game two. It is a best of three. Dice needs to win this game and a potential game three to go to the finals against Tomahome. Here is the game. Dice again on the bottom. He has a lax lead this time, and Ban Manaphy with a standard T-Tar lead. Both players with different leads than they had in the previous game. Here's the obvious Skarm switch, and there's a self-destruct, which is going to actually kill him here. So it's either a YOLO Skarm or a Choice Ban lax in order to one-hit KO there. But a good trade for Dice, because he does not have to worry about the spikes on a team that very well may not have a spinner. Salamence looks to be choice banded from Ban Manaphy. It did not gain leftovers there, and there's a failed protect from Dice looking to scout the choice ban move, but Blissey comes in for Ban Manaphy. They both have a Blissey, as it turns out. Um, lax plus Bliss is a little bit unusual, but because it is a lead Lax and presumably a choice bander, uh, it's not that big of a deal. The Lax for Dice is clearly not built to last. It is a utility mon and the self destruct. Obviously means that he's not trying to rest or stick around, so Blissey's the actual special wall, and Lax is more of a utility poke. Ice Beam there, decent damage to Tower on the way in, but needs to get out of the way. Fortress comes in for Dice, hidden power. That looks like HP Grass aimed at Swampert, but Dice did not do that, and Fort uh, Fortress has to be careful now Fire Blast. Here comes Aerodactyl. And it's Hidden Power again. Interesting. Maybe he thought that Swampert was going to come in on the Fire Blast. So I like the line of thought there from Ban Manaphy, but it doesn't quite work out. And it is the obvious Earthquake here from the Aerodactyl. Hits the meta for 51%. Looks like he has a decent shot to live another one. But nevertheless, they're both going to switch here. Salamence gets in on Fortress. Fortress should be able to spike up here without an issue, unless it is one of those old-school CB Menses with Fire Blast. Most of them do not carry that these days, but evidently this one does. And down goes the Fortress from 100%, thanks to that Fire Blast. That is not what DICE needed. Now Ban Manaphy over to Bliss. That's going to get hit with an Earthquake on the way in. Aerodactyl here... Does not seem to have lefties, but I'm not convinced that it's choice banded either. That's a pretty damn bulky bliss, if so. Might be bold with max defense and very, very high HP, if indeed this is a choice band Aerodactyl. Dice back to Blissey. He's down 5-4 to four here. Both guys, once again, do have an unrevealed. We know that it's a toxic bliss from Ban Manaphy. Haven't seen much else. Seen only Ice Beam from Dice's bliss. There's Toxic. And Ice Beam. Perfect. No new information. Toxic connects, as does Ice Beam. No freeze. Not that it would matter thanks to Natural Cure. The advantage seems to continue to be with Ban Manaphy. He's going to go to T-Tower at this point. Pretty risk-averse here. Only Ice Beam freeze is really an issue. And Swampert comes in, which typically is a good matchup, but we know that Tar has HP Grass, and there it is. 71% huge damage. Surf, however, is now in Torrent range, therefore takes him out from 74%, so that catches Dice up a little bit, but now he's got to worry about this Salamence that we believe is Choice Banded here. Not a great switch opportunity. He does have Protect to Scout the move. Hidden Power... So I guess Aerodactyl would be the switch, unless it happens to be another flying resist in the back for Dice, which it totally could be. Fori is usually paired with Pursuit Tire, and speak of the devil, here is Tyranitar. Oh, interesting. That is not the hidden power that we thought it was. Is that hidden power bug? That might be hidden power bug. Hidden power fighting would have devastated him there, so I think it's actually hidden power bug. Maybe not. Is it HP Grass? Yeah, actually, I lied. I think it's HP Grass, because I think Bug, if it were Choice Banded, would have done more. So I think it's actually HP Grass. I think we have a Fire Blast, HP Grass, Brick Break, some other move, Salamence here. So it's actually a Mixed Mens, not a Choice Bander. Really well disguised there. He had me fooled. I thought it was a Bander, but it's actually a Mixed Mens holding a non-leftovers, non-Choice Band item. That is really creative for Ban Manaphy, and I could totally see why dice would make a play such as keeping the fortress in thinking that a he's not going to have fire blast b i will live fire blast but i think what we're actually looking at is salamence that probably has maximum special attack which is why he one hit ko'd him there that's really brilliant for ban manaphy i like that a lot that's really really innovative this is the kind of stuff that wins tournament games 
But not to get too far behind, we do see a mono pert from Swampert here. It does refresh away the poison, but we know now that Salamence has HP Grass. Dice obviously is aware of this as well, so needs to be very, very careful here. Doesn't want to lose the Swampert, which would obviously not survive that from 45%. Here's the switch to Titar. Brick Break, great prediction. Critical hit irrelevant there. Brick Break, the one-hit KO. That's exactly what Dice wanted to avoid. And he again finds himself behind. This Aerodactyl is going to have to do some work. Here comes Blissey. That seems like something Aerodactyl should be able to kill. Rock Slide, 46%. I think you have to go for it here. Unless he's going to switch, anticipating the meta coming in. Which is exactly what happens. And he does go for it. There's the Rock Slide, 13%. He could have gone to Swampert here. I'm not really sure where that gets him, but... Oh, he's going to go Rock Slide again. Fishing for either a Meteor Mash miss, an overprediction like that, or a flinch. It is just an overprediction. It's Earthquake. Doesn't go for it again. He's a little nervous to go for it again. And Bad Man, if he's not going to try the Earthquake again either. He goes Meteor Mash. It does connect. 17% against the Monopert on the way in that we know has Protect. Protect from Meta as well. And there is the straight surf turn. Now will Swampert go for Protect? They're both gaining lefties, both with Protect, both Sand Immune. Blissey comes in trying to sneak in on a Protect turn. Does so successfully if Blissey's faster here, which it will not be unless she has speed EVs. Oh, Blissey gains lefties first. Blissey seems to be faster here. Monopert doesn't run minus speed nature because it doesn't have to. It doesn't have any physical attacks. It runs minus attacks, so it's generally faster than Blissey. But this is a Blissey with speed EVs, quite a few of them for Ban Manaphy, and it allows him to get a critical soft boiled off and not get killed by the Swampert here. There's Surf for Salamence. Salamence seems to be on its deathbed. It's on 14%, doesn't have lefties. We know Swampert is protect, and he's going to go for it here. Hidden Power, the obvious move, but Salamence running out of opportunities. He's only going to be able to survive Sand one more time before he succumbs. Here's Blissey. Brick Break? Yes! Great prediction for Ban Manaphy. Pulls the trigger, nails it on the way in. Going to have one more opportunity to attack, and Dice does not have a fantastic switch. Swampert, HP Grass, no. Goes straight for the Brick Break. Dice dodges a bullet there. I think HP Grass would have lost him the game and therefore the series, but he dodges a bullet. He is not out of the woods by any means, though. It leaves us in a 3-3 situation. We still don't know the last poke for Ban Manaphy. Ice Beam, Toxic, Soft Boiled hasn't shown the last move. In Swampert's case, we know it's Mono Pert. Ice Beam, 21%. And Toxic is the response. What is the last poke for Ban Manaphy? That is the burning question here. I think there's only a couple things it could be. Dice probably deducing that in his mind, but there's only so much he can do as far as playing around things here. This is a good start. He goes to Blissey on the soft boil turn. Would have been bad had there been an S-Toss there, but there was not. And this is going to enable a soft boil for Dice that Ban Manaphy cannot prevent. The best thing he could do is go to his Metagross that actually... Dice does not go for the soft boiled. We end up with this matchup here. Protect from meta. And also from Swampert. So the meta for the protect from meta is gonna succeed. The Swampert's protect is gonna fail because of weird mechanics. Now Blissey is gonna come in. Really nothing to fear. Surf 12%. Who cares? The only thing this monopert can do is hit it with toxic, which it can of course natural cure away. However, uh, Dice does not really feel threatened by the Blissey either, so this is a good opportunity for Dice to heal up his Swampert if that's important to him. Instead, we end up with Metagross against Blissey. 28% she's at. She gets out of the way. Here comes Swampert. Meteor Mash. Fishing for an attack raise. Gets it. 15% not a big deal, but the attack raise might be. Earthquakes are going to really sting now. See what they both want to do from this situation. 33% earthquake is no joke, but there's a torrent range surf finding a crit at a critical time. Pun intended. That's bad for Ban Manaphy, and he's forced to show his last Pokemon here. That was a huge crit for Dice. Last poke Aerodactyl now for Ban Manaphy. Double edge attempt protected against. We now know what the move is. What will Dice do now that we know that he is presumably locked on the double edge? It is double edge. It doesn't look like Aerodactyl substitute funny business. It looks like a classic choice bander. Double edge takes out Bliss. We find ourselves in a 2-2 two -two situation. 
Dice wins what is presumably a speed tie. Gets the rock slide off. Ben Manaphy looks to be in trouble here. He's going to need a rock slide dodge most likely. Stranger things have happened. Can he avoid the rock slide? He does not. What does he do? He ice beams. We end up with only Blissey on Swampert here. We know from the previous iteration of this matchup that Blissey is faster. Blissey could get a soft boiled off or she could go aggressive here and try to take him out with ice beam. Fishing for a crit or a freeze gets neither. Toxic on the way back. Blissey finds herself at 29%. Going to be lower after the Toxic kicks in. 22%. Swampert at 27 but he's got a guaranteed protect up. Dice wins the cycle loss game. He had an opportunity there, but because Protect was so obvious, he didn't go for the Ice Beam. Dice took the opportunity to surf. Critical Ice Beam would have won on that turn, but the opportunity is going to pass. Dice again does not go for it, winning the Psychological Warfare. He again had a free Protect there and did not do it. Blissey suffering from the effects of the Toxic. Finally, Swampert pulls the trigger now on Protect, and now Ban Manaphy attacks. That is three times in a row that Dice flat out outpredicts Ban Manaphy and wins the Psychological Game. Now a critical hit is going to be necessary. There's the 50-50 Protect. He wins the Coin Flip. Ice Beam, even if it was going to crit there, does not connect thanks to the protect and now Blissey is going to succumb to the poison not even a crit would be good enough at this point he goes for the 25% protect anyway doesn't get it but like I said at this point even a crit or a freeze or both for good measure would not be enough and Dice is going to clutch this one out with some really nice end game play and some great predictions he wins the psychological warfare and he sends us to a game three this one much closer and much better than game one, which was a one-sided affair. This one I liked a lot more. Man, this could have gone either way, but Ban Manaphy not able to read Dice at the end. Dice with the mind games is going to send us to a third game. I liked a lot of things about Ban Manaphy's team. I thought the Mens was cleverly disguised. I thought the team as a whole made a lot of sense and was well built. But Dice clutches it out. I cannot wait to see what is in store for the third game of this set. And you guys don't have to wait either because it's the very next video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you there.